Hello, everyone. Today I have a call with two gentlemen from Argentina who are looking to expand their business to the U.S. and capture a bunch of U.S. clients. It's actually a really good call. I talk really fast. I talk a lot, but I think I explain what I'm trying to talk about pretty thoroughly. So let's get to this call and uh, let me know what you think in the comments below if you, if you like what's going on. Thanks. Haven't done my taxes. I'm too turned up. Haven't done my taxes. I'm too so, yeah, what kind of what kind of business are you running and everything? What's, what's, yeah. the, what's the plan? Sure. So, so uh, I can explain you a little bit about the business and then about the re residency and the nationality of, uh, of the partners. Okay. Okay. So um, we are starting a new business to um, manufacture and sell backyard offices in the U.S. So, uh, you know, this uh, work from home uh, policy, we believe is here to stay and uh, there will be an increasing demand of this kind of uh, pots, office pots for the, for the backyard. So um, our business ma mainly is to um, hire a builder in the US. We are talking with several options. Uh, we are closer to one in the Elgin, Illinois to manufacture the, the, these offices. And then uh, we ship them fully assembled from the factory to the customer location. We actually have, yeah, that's, we're working on the same thing. So we have um, a 3D printer that can print offices and things like that to go in the backyard. So that's actually something we've been working on. The printers just got finished like last week. So we're gonna start doing some uh, printed houses like that. Nice, nice. So you 3D printed it? Yeah, we're gonna 3D print oh. the houses, yeah. Interesting. You can use the materials you can use are better, a little bit cheaper, and then you can obviously um, create more unique designs and make them easier to assemble. So it's a lot of stuff like that. So I can definitely, if you want to, if you're looking for a builder or someone who needs some help, maybe that's something I can put you in contact with the, the guys we have that do the printing. Sure thing, sure thing. Thank you, thank you. Yeah. Uh, in, the, in this case, with, with this uh, particular builder, we are um, discussing like traditional wood framing and uh, with that uh, cedar uh, exterior siding and uh, plywood in the interiors and well, like traditional uh, prefab building. And um, we are hiring th this, uh, this company to manufacture the offices and then uh, we are going to ship them fully assembled from the factory. And um, I, I mean, w we don't have any employees in the States, uh, just, uh, Third party, I mean, sorry, yeah, no, 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 no problem. Uh, just uh, third party manufacturers, uh, shipping companies, and so. And uh, we are we're going to hire um, sales represent, representative through Upwork to um, close the deal. We are uh, announcing these offices, we're selling them uh, through our website, and uh, we are going to hire a freelance sales representative to close the deal. Yeah. Cool. Good idea. And uh, we are both, uh, Peter, which is my business partner and I, we are both uh, non-U.S. residents. Uh, so we are from Argentina. We uh, live here and we don't have plans to uh, uh, live in the U.S. here. So, so with your business, because you're going to be manufacturing, you kind of have a rough indirect connection with the U.S. because you're paying someone to manufacture a product that's going to be sold in the U.S. So it might be, it might be easier to make more sense and be safer for you to use a, a corporation instead of an LLC. Uh, it's a little bit different, the requirements of what you're required to like file every year and stuff, but there's different ways also to minimize this tax impact as well. Even though the, the corporate income tax rate is basically 20, it's 21%. Okay. And uh, then we, we will have the 35 of dividend tax, that's right? Well, you would you would pay yourself salaries. You'd pay yourself management fees so that there wouldn't really be any kind of withholdings or dividend, uh, dividends being paid. It's all going to be salaries or management fees to yourself. And uh, e even if you are talking about the high volume of uh, profit, for example, we are, uh, we say we, we get, uh, between seven thousand and eight thousand dollars per unit, and we are aiming to sell at least twenty per month. Yeah, that's awesome. If you can sell that many, that's great. Yeah, uh, sure. 
yeah well, so we, we could have uh, i don't know uh, 200 dollars per in salaries per per month for example yeah well we it depends what we have to do you have to set up management agreements i mean that's oh peter's here so it's really it's really up to what you want to do if you operate an llc you have to be really um tight with it and then you're going to be paying taxes in argentina which um okay. uh, but if you uh, use a corporation that have separate llc's or separate accounts where you pay yourselves then you can you know it's just another way to do it it can be done either way you can uh, accomplish your tax goals with whatever structure you want you just have to like pick one that has the least risk to you or the most upside and then um move forward that way okay okay and uh, in, in that case, um, so we, we could establish, for example, another corporation in a country with uh, zero tax, for example, to uh, uh, collect these uh, dividends or salary in a way. Yeah. Do you intend to, do you intend to um, report the results of this in Argentina and pay taxes in Argentina? Uh, no, no, that's not the idea, yeah. Okay, that makes sense. Uh, then, yeah, it might make sense. Then it would probably be good to have a more calm, a more indirect um, tax structure for yourselves where you can either um, use a U.S. corp so that that's what you're operating under. Then it's clear to both Argentina and the U.S. how you're operating your main business and where your money's going. And then from there, send profits out to different places where you want it to go, whether it be to um, other accounts in other countries or other LLC accounts that you own or other things like that so that um, you kind of spread it out more and then you can keep it under the radar. Meanwhile, your main company is a corp. It's easier to operate a U.S. corp uh, in the U.S. than it is an LLC, even though you can operate an LLC fine. Uh, the other option is just to operate your LLC like this and uh, say that you're not doing any business in the U.S. and keep all the money in your LLC account and then do whatever you want with it that way. It's, it might be a little simpler. But uh, what, what do you mean we are not operating in the US if we are from manufacturing and selling? Well, you're not, so you're not really, you're not, you're just paying people to manufacture something and then shipping it somewhere else. If you're not having hold of the inventory, then you might not have any risk from that um, perspective. I think it'd be safer and more conservative to open a corporation instead of an LLC because it could be construed that you have access or that you have possession of these um, fabricated things. However, it, you could also argue that you don't and you could set it up so you really don't have possession. You're really just paying a builder to build something to some specifications and then he's shipping it to the end user. Okay, okay. And uh, Jim, okay. Uh, how can we structure um, the salary scheme in order to have uh, privacy to say in a way uh, towards Argentina. So, yeah. Yeah, I mean, there's different ways to do it. Uh, this is a little bit more complicated than most of the calls I do. This is probably something where we should have, uh, I would recommend, especially if you're, if you're going to scale and you already have the buyers for this and everything, a written plan where it has um, all of what you, all of your options kind of written down where you can look through them and make a decision that we can like structure it out and map it out and then do a little workflow on how, where the money's going to flow and what contracts are needed for what spot. So it's a little bit more complicated, but um, to, to answer your question, I'm not, I can't tell you exactly how Argentina and the U.S. share information. I don't know. Okay. I don't know how the banks and the governments do it, but I'm sure there's some level of information being shared. If you uh, do an LLC that you both own, you file a, a partnership um, report and you say that you're you know, you're not doing business here. If you're uh, determined to be doing business here, then it could really uh, negatively impact your business because there's a lot of withholdings required on the profits and they would be subject to U.S. taxation and all of this. So um, that's one issue with that. I think um, it's really overlooked um, just using a corporation and then paying out a lot of the your portion of the profits to different LLCs that you own. Okay. Instead, instead of, that's what I, probably what I would do instead of, using just an LLC because what you're doing, even though it, you might not have possession of the assets, it looks like it looks like it does. Wouldn't be, it wouldn't be an easy argument to make. Okay. Okay. And uh, is, is there any straightforward uh, way to, for example, following the, the scheme that you mentioned in the beginning of the goal, 
for example, if, if we had a US corporation, a C Corp, and uh, we have uh, Peter and I, for example, we are uh, uh, stockholders of, uh, I don't know, a corporation in, uh, let's say, BBI, for example. You don't need it. You don't need yeah. a B. If you have a C corp, you don't need a BBI um, for okay. that. It's just the C corp doesn't stops anything come from going to Argentina. The C corp is its own entity. You can own that directly, and then if you want, you can own LLCs that are owned by BBIs or LLCs owned by companies in Nevis or whatever. And that's that's when that's when you would want those companies to own the LLCs. Okay. So, uh, 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 what, what would be the tax and advantage to um, uh, distribute dividends through LLCs instead of uh, directly through st stockholders. Of the there wouldn't, there wouldn't, there wouldn't be any, um, there wouldn't be any dividends. First of all, second, I mean, you guys are trying to not pay any taxes. So if you're not going to pay any yeah. taxes, the I, the game is not. It's easy to not pay taxes. You just don't pay them. But the game is to lower your risk and your exposure and make sure everything's done the right way and filed on time so that your risk is lower. Because not paying taxes is you just don't pay, <laughs> you know, but it's reporting the forms the right way and doing everything on time so that you don't get in trouble for doing it and that you're doing it within the law uh, sure, sure. as much as possible. Okay. Okay. Because I have, because so, like yeah. operating here, I have a feeling that we'll, we'll be able to set it all up and do it right from here. It's just really, you're going to be pushing it in Argentina a little bit, which is fine. I mean, that's, uh, I think I'm not. Like what I'm telling you isn't really going to be abusing U.S. laws. If any, if anything, it might maybe is something in Argentina. I don't know, but um, yeah, sure, sure. So yeah. um, maybe we we should uh, pre process this a little bit and uh, maybe get back to you and uh, uh, maybe schedule a more photo uh, consultation. Yeah, I mean, whatever. Whenever you guys are ready to move forward and open the company and do it all the right way, our our process is really to go through it and do it all with you and do it for you so that you don't have to really do anything. And we can, we can come to, I can map it out for you pretty simply and we can come to a conclusion about the best way to move forward. Um, if you guys want to proceed and that's definitely like the, the first step and most of the value with, um, with what we do. And then after that, it's all, uh, you know, support if you need a support ongoing. So, um, that's what we help with as well. And when you have questions about like what to file uh, and how you should be registering for things and what you should be telling people when you're selling things to them, stuff like that. Okay. Okay. So um, uh, I think we would be interested uh, to start in the, in the initial consultation to define the legal scheme. Okay, great. So I'll send you the details of, uh, of our, of our packages and like, uh, yeah. It's a, it's a flat fee, the, the package. So okay. I'll send you the, the details of all of that. And then if you guys want to move forward, we can schedule the uh, the first, an, another call. And since I've already spoken with you, I'll get a little prepared for it. Okay. And I'll put, I'll okay. put, uh, I'll put some stuff together. I'll just have, share my screen and we'll write it together. Cause um, you know what the, the, it's just the corporation way I think is, I think it's safer. I think it's smarter. It just does require a little bit more, um, upkeep i guess a little bit more legal documents and a little bit more awareness and upkeep to it but i think it's better in the long run okay you okay. can raise capital you can um get credit cards you get loans you can sell the company easier there's a lot of benefits to it as, especially if you're talking about really scaling makes sense makes sense okay jim so uh th okay, thank you thank you yes. for your time and uh, yeah we're, we're looking forward to receiving that email yeah, definitely. I will uh, send you an email for sure. Okay. Yep. Okay. Thanks, guys. Well, thank you, Shim. Okay. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Bye. Bye. Okay, everyone. So I think that call was really good. It was uh, really informative, pretty high level in terms of uh, risk, where you're paying taxes, what, uh, what kind of company is best for your business. And since there's two really solid options, the corporation and the LLC, determining which one is best and determining how to best utilize it is the whole conversation. So if you like the video, please give me that thumbs up. If you want to see more, please subscribe. If you want to talk to me yourself, I'm still doing these calls for a limited time. Go to the description. You can schedule a call to talk to me yourself. And um, thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. Have a great day.